three, two, one. I'm Elmi Travaba and I'm in for your Penn TV daily news blog. Uh, it's a series of news items that are going on today and throughout the week in San Mateo County. Here's your first news item. In the city of Belmont, the Daycation Dance Sports Championship is happening Friday, March 26. So it's a month away, but it's a good idea to register now. You can catch dance competitions, including the salsa and the cha-cha-cha. There's a shuttle that leaves Belmont that day at 9.30 a.m. to Wedgwood at Crystal Springs, where the Dance Sport Championships is taking place. You can register by going to belmont.gov under Parks and Recreation, or you can call the Parks and Rec Department in Belmont. It's a really fun thing that they're doing, and I encourage everyone to check it out. Uh, a cheap and easy way to get some great entertainment. In Burlingame, they're starting auditions for the Burlingame Idol. It's beginning Tuesday, March 23rd, those auditions at Social Hall. Contestants will learn how to enhance their performances and song selections. The age range to compete is five to 100 years old, so pretty much everyone can compete. The finale will be held in May at Broadway Grill in Burlingame. The winners will be given opportunities to perform throughout the Bay Area. So you can register for that at burlingame.org. Now here's Garrett's movie moment. He argues that animated films are not just for kids, thanks to sophisticated library of work from Pixar Animation Studios in Emeryville. Since the 80s, they've put forth great features and shorts, and I'm a little older than Garrett, but I would argue that um, cartoons like Bugs Bunny, um, Tom and Jerry, those cartoons don't appeal to just kids, they're for everybody or you know there's a lot of other cartoons that are out there but not a lot of them have been nominated for best picture like um, Pixar's uh, animated work Up. It's only the second film that's animated in history to be nominated. The first one was Beauty and the Beast. Our intern Jansen's fashion tip is he suggests that you try a low ponytail. So this hairdo is functional, but also fashionable. I think we have a picture to show you what he means. And he says you can create this look by securing the hair near the nape of the neck. Use a bobby pin and wrap a small section of hair around the base of the ponytail. Use a hair curler to wind the ends of the tail into one big, per one big curl. And this picture is courtesy of Allure. Now, it's not something I think that would work for everybody. Like, I can't imagine myself putting my hair in. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow and you let me know what you think by going to pentv.tv at gmail.com. Send us an email or you can go to our website, pentv.tv. So our intern, Dan, who's a big foodie, Yelp elite and all that, argues that one of the best desserts on the peninsula is at Monster Desserts in San Bruno. It's not a traditional dessert joint like frozen yogurt or cupcakes, but Monster Dessert in Bru San Bruno offers the softest shaved ice treats you will ever have. And here's how they do it. Each cup is filled with shaved ice and topped with fresh fruits or dry toppings. Other options are fudge, candy, nuts, or even avocado. Add ice cream and top with swirls of condensed milk. Flavors combined is pure, fluffy heaven. Monster Dessert is located in Tan Fran Mall in San Bruno. So if you get a chance to check us out, send, check that out, send pictures to pentv.tv at gmail.com and we'll post them up at our next uh, Penn TV Daily News blog. I'm Elmi Travaba and that's been your Daily News blog. Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini and I'm one of the volunteer hosts for Peninsula TV. And I'd like to ask you to join me in becoming a member of Peninsula TV. If you enjoy learning about your local government, your businesses, your schools, and your local community organizations, then join me in supporting Peninsula TV for its future programming and become a member. Just go to our website and find out how you can become a member of Peninsula TV.